Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jamie. Today I wanted to talk to you about some new Milani face palettes. So they just released these, I believe two weeks ago, but I placed my order right away and shipping was so slow. I didn't receive them until yesterday. It was like two weeks that I ordered them. But anyway, gotta stop complaining here, but I am so excited to review these for you today. I was so excited. I love a good face palette. I love makeup, but face palettes are like, I've got a weakness for them because they're so all in one. So this is actually called the All Inclusive Eye, Cheek and Face Palette by Milani. And I wanted to pick up the one, but then I was like so excited about it and looking at the colors, they looked awesome. Then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pick up both of them because they are by Milani and that's one of my favorite drugstore brands. And they were only $14.99 each and I just could not help myself. Like I said, I'm a sucker for a face palette. So if you guys want to see my thoughts, the colors, the swatches, a try on, all that of this palette, please continue watching this video. And if you could consider subscribing to my channel, I would love that. It'd be so awesome. Thank you so much for your support. So let's jump right into this. So the regular palette, the light to medium, I mean, I guess I call it regular because it's regular for my face. The other one's kind of stretching it a little bit for me, but it has um, three different eyeshadows. They both have three different eyeshadows in there and a highlight, a bronzer, and two blushes. It's like a blush and a blush topper. Okay, so let's jump into the swatches. I have them on my arm right here and I'll step you guys through it. So that you can see there's three different eyeshadows. So this is the light um, color story. I don't think that they, they just call it a matte shimmer and a matte shadow. So I don't really have names here, um, but here are the swatches. So let me, get, let me see if I can get the light a little bit better here. So this is the lightest pink. Then there's a pink shimmer, that's the pink shimmer, and then there's a matte brown. So those are the first three. So they definitely tell like a pink color story. The whole palette, both of them tell a very pink color story. But anyway, so there are those three. And then we move into, this is the highlight. You can see here, oh, that's better. So you can see this is even like a corally peachy pink. That's very pink. That is like, that is a warmer brown. Um, I would definitely say it doesn't have as much yellow, maybe more like red in this brown. Then there is the highlight there, a pretty gold, but it's kind of dark. I mean, I would think it's kind of dark for some people with light skin tone, but there, that's that one. That's the bronzer. It's very yellow toned. That is the blush topper, which is just like a shimmery, pinky peach, and then that is the blush, which is pinky peach, maybe leaning a little bit more peach. So that's matte, matte, shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. So three really shimmer shades and four matte, more matte shades in there. So that is the light palette. Let's move over to the dark palette. Let me show you again really quick. So two matte shadows, a matte bronzer. There's the highlight, it's very dark then a darker blush, and then like a blush topper. So matte, 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 shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. All right, and now let me show you them. So there are the three eyeshadows. So you can see like, I feel like, yep, the darkest shade in the first palette is the lightest shade in the second palette. So then eyeshadow, that's the shimmer eyeshadow. And then that is the darkest eyeshadow. There's the bronzer or the highlight. You can see that is super dark. And that's the bronzer. And then that's the blush. Sorry, it's like a triple swatch there. That's the blush topper and that is the blush. So very, very much darker, but I like the combination of the two because I feel like you can get like a full, full color story with the combination. So I'm happy that I picked up both of them. So yeah, the second one is called the medium to deep palette and the first one is considered the light to medium palette. And I think it's true, this one is light to medium. Things you're gonna miss in here is the dark, dark eyeshadow colors. Definitely don't have that. And 
The other thing, uh, the bronzer is super yellow tone and the highlight is pretty dark for like a light skin highlight. So that is what I have to say about this one. This one, uh, once again, you don't get like the darkest of browns. I mean, you're going darker, but not as dark. Um, this highlight is really dark, really dark. And even this, um, the shiny lid shade is pretty dark. So just something to note, I did a try on, so I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Um, but I really think that both these are good. I'll wrap up my final thoughts in the end, um, but let's just jump into the try on. Okay, so I'm so excited to jump into these palettes. I've been, I've only gotten them last night, um, but they've been staring at me and I'm ready. <laughs> So here is the lighter of the two palettes. I think I'm going to start, actually, let me start with the eyeshadow. So I think I'm actually going to bounce possibly back and forth between the two palettes when it comes to the eyeshadow, because this is the lighter palette. You can see the colors are lighter and then that's the darker palette. So I don't know. I think I might take a combination of the two and see how it works out. I'm going to start in the lighter palette. So let's start with um, the lightest shadow in here and see what we get. They're all very pink, so I don't know. I'm not always a pink eyeshadow girl, but I'm willing to give it a try here. Oh, uh, great. It seems to be applying really nicely. Good pigmentation. So that's good. Let's do the other eye for as well. Before we blend. So I just put the pink shadow down. I haven't blended it yet. So then I always go back in with a clean brush and then blend. I just like to get that pigment down first. Let's see how it blends. So it's definitely blending really nice, but it's a light color and we are losing some of the pigmentation, but I think that's typically how blending goes. I think it's just tricky with these Milani palettes because the past couple of palettes haven't been that fantastic with their blendability. They just blend out into nothing. So just wanna make sure that these shades are sticking around. So let's go into the, still staying in the light palette, I'm gonna go into the slightly darker color here. So they are dusty, but not too bad. I wouldn't say they're extremely dusty. So this is definitely just pulling a little bit darker and brown, but there's not much depth to be had in this light palette. So that is the darkest shade in here. So that just, um, that's why I wanted to get both palettes because then I knew there were darker shades in the other one and I'm not really happy with just this being my darkest shade. So the pigment's down, now I'm gonna blend. All right, now I'm gonna move into the other palette just because um, these shades are too light. So let's move into the next palette. These shades are getting darker. I think that this shade is pretty comparable to the darkest shade in the other palette. So I'm gonna go in with this darkest shade in this one. That bronze color actually might be a really good one. I, I just already put my brush in here, so we're gonna run with this one. But I kinda like that bronze because it's dark and it's not as um, warm tone. I mean, this is like, Super warm tone. Well, it definitely hasn't um, faded away into nothing. So it is still there. 
still looking good. I would say it's not as defined because there's not as many shades in here to be able to define it. But now let's go for the pop on the lids, which I'm really excited about. So this, the light um, shadow, this is the color on the lid, the, or the, ooh, I really wanna do this highlight, the palette, the darker palette, the highlight color is what I wanna put on my eyes. So let's do that. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger, got it on my finger. Whoa, nice. Looking good. Okay, so that was really pretty, but it is very orangish. So I'm gonna try to pull it back and see if I can get it to be a little bit more of this, I don't know. It, everything's gonna be orange, I think, in this palette, but let's put the dark um, shimmery color on the center and see what that looks like. Yep, very orange. All my palettes seem to be orange these days. I mean, I like warm colors, but wow. I'm overwhelmed with oranges and pinks right now. Okay, so that is that. And then I think I'm gonna take, I guess, the shimmery color from the other palette, the one that's in the center here, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. And see, woo! And that's really pink. Okay, so I'm looking pink and peach. Okay, well the, you know, I would say that the eyeshadows are okay. I'm not crazy. There's not too much of a selection here, but they're they're decent for sure. And I could have just kept it as a matte look or played with the bronzers, any of that. So let's jump in to the rest of the face palette part of this. So I am going to jump into the bronzer and I'm using the light palette. Also, like I said, very powdery. All right, it's definitely like a warm tone. I don't know if everybody loves this like um, brownish of a tone of a bronzer. I know some people prefer like more of a red undertone. This is definitely brown. I know I watch, um, Emily Noel's videos and she was trying the new uh, two or uh, oh man Physicians Formula bronzer and she was saying how it just kind of was brown I think for her complexion and it might work better on like olive complexions this brown color I think it's looking pretty good on me but I think it's just you know it's not going to work for everybody. So it's really, it can blend out super easily. So I wonder what the staying, staying power is gonna be like for this. I'll definitely um, keep you updated in the comment section on how well this stuck around. It's looking good, but my concern, I guess, is that it blends so easily and blends away so easily that there's a concern that it might not stick around. I'm not really having any problems with the pan size. I think it seems like a decent amount, maybe not the largest amount, but it's decent. Okay, so that is the bronzer and I used obviously the light, the light one, the dark one. Do I dare, maybe I'll just do a little dip into the dark one and just see. So just did a teeny little dip. It's pretty pigmented, you can see. And I'll just start back here. Yep. It's still blendable. Like if I didn't have the light one, I think I could get away with the dark one. On my skin tone, I'm like a light medium. I just have to blend it 
pretty well, but I think it is still usable. So you could end up with the dark palette and still be able to, to use it. So there we go. There is my eyeshadow done and my bronzer. So now let's jump into blush. So I guess I'm gonna use the light blush first and it is this pinky color up here. I'm gonna use a stipple brush because I just don't know, so powdery. I don't know how it's gonna be. Um, okay, it's not that super pigmented. So you can definitely like not dust off. I think it makes a very cohesive color story because of the pinks are kind of the, you know, the theme of the palette. They're everywhere in there. So it does look very cohesive, I feel like. All right. So then I have this uh, dual fiber brush that I'm using. So I might as well then try the blush topper shade. I guess it's in here. So I'm going to go in the light palette and try this one. I'm going to put it closer to where my, my uh, highlight would go. A little bit on my cheeks. Hopefully you can see that. So let's do this again. And this cheek, you can see it's giving like a little shimmer, but I don't feel like it's like too much. I mean, I do feel like I have a lot of blush on, but everything blended out really well. So I'm thinking I wanted to, you know, test it and see what it'd be like, but I'm thinking it might blend. It might blend in really well. So it might not look like this uh, for too long. So then the last thing is just this highlight. So I'm gonna do the highlight in the lightest palette. So I don't think I can get away with that highlight. I put that other highlight on my eyes earlier and that was a lot. Very dark in that other palette. Okay, the highlight looks beaming. Um, whoa, holy smokes. That is a lot, so I'm gonna have to blend that out. So it, it definitely is like beaming from outer space type of highlight, but it really does like show texture. But most of those beaming from outer space highlights do show texture. So just be aware. And then I'm gonna take the highlight and I'll put it on my inner corners. Whoa, that's a little dark. Um, I don't know why it, sh it showed up so dark, I didn't. So this also just might not even be that great for light skin tones, this highlight. It does show up pretty dark. Then the last step is just I want to blend some shadow under my eyes. And for this one, I guess the only shadow I didn't really dip into in the try-on was this light one up here. And I think it is pretty much the same as the darkest shadow in the other palette. So... Okay, and then blend this blush and highlight together a little. Okay, I am so pink, but that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna finish putting on my makeup and I will be back for final thoughts. Okay, awesome. So I thought that try-in went really well. I love the way my makeup came out. I think it looks really great. $14.99 for these palettes and Milani has been running some 20% off. Um, just go to their website and sign up for their email alerts and they often do like extra 20% off. Um, I thought these were a very good purchase. I'm extremely happy to have them. I love face palettes. I love Milani. I love $14.99 <laughs> or lower. And I just think that these are versatile and I got a full look out of it. And this is definitely a, a great brand. So good purchase. And I would definitely recommend it for anyone who's interested. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was informative and I'll see you again soon. Bye.